here with the man himself, Dion Taylor, director of traffic and director extraordinaire because you've been doing this a while. Can you talk about what it's like coming up in this game? Capital E on extraordinaire. <laughs> no, it's, you know what? It's great, man. Um, obviously, standing here right now in Sacramento is uh, it's humbling just to be able to, you know, stand here and talk about a film that we did. But it's been great, man. Sacramento's been great. Um, we're still out here working extremely hard on bringing more production and more film to Sacramento. So um, I'm excited about this interview. So again, you, you've been doing this for a while and then I've been following you on social media. You know, you, you're with Denzel, you're, you're with The Rock. Can you ex ex describe those experiences? They're great. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. But you know, I think what happens is for me personally, after doing this for so long, uh, and I like to make sure people understand independently, um, you know, you really put yourself in a position with work and working hard to be in those rooms with those people. And, you know, like everything else, it is like a brief moment of like, dang, that's The Rock or dang, that's Jamie Foxx or that's Denzel or whomever it might be. But then after that, you kind of snap right back in and understand what you're there for. And if you don't do a good job, you won't be there very long. <laughs> so it's cool that way. And then you have a traffic movie. Right, right off the bat, you're showcasing Sacramento. You got the Tower Bridge. You got the Capitol up ahead. Yeah. Why, why was it important for you to put that in this movie? Something that's, you know, big. Well, the traffic was basically uh, inspired, you know, and written, you know, because I live here. And I have a 12-year-old daughter. And at the time, we were receiving news about people being trafficked in our area and just being honest i had never seen anything like that i was like yo what is what does this mean like you hear it right. but i never had it affect me and uh when i did the research that's when i was just really like blown away that you know sacramento was one of the biggest hubs for sex trafficking then i was even more blown away to find out that atlanta is like almost number one or number two in the nation and, you know, you just think sometimes from the movies like Take In and some of these other films that it's a foreign thing. And then you learn, like, no, it's domestically. It's here right now. And uh, so I wrote the movie, and my idea around the movie Traffic was to build a suspense thriller wrapped around the human trafficking uh, world so people could actually, you know, have the chocolate wrapped around the medicine you know what i mean where they could go have a good time experience something really fun but then at the end of the day learn something and then you have something so serious but and you were able to bring in powerful women like paula pan can you describe working with her and getting her on board with this yeah she was fantastic man so paula was um she was my first choice and uh, we went around and around it wasn't like that like a movie you know, story, you know, I went to Paula and she said, yes, I'm in. Like, it was like, but I went to Paula and she said, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I came back to her two more times and uh, we bumped heads on the script a bit. And then f finally she was like, man, I really like where this is going and what it is. And it takes a minute for an actress like that to be able to say, I'm going to lose the makeup. I'm going to lose everything that people like about me in terms of like, you know, being in front of the camera as a, as a, as a, you know, uh, a beauty you know, more more so for your looks and then strip all that away and say, I'm gonna be here as an actress. And uh, I had loved Paula in Deja Vu. Oh, she was you. epic in that movie, man. And and I just said, man, if you could bring any of, any of that to this, you know what I mean? I think it'll find its own audience. And she went above and beyond. And I mean, every day I was just like, every day on set, I'm like, yo, this is crazy seeing her this way. And, and it's crazy because she's playing a journalist and that's kind of what journalists today are now going through that's because right. That's news right. is moving so quick yeah yeah news is moving fast and journalists are trying to figure out stories and in this film what i thought was interesting is she actually lives her story right and i think that's what's unique for a lot of people today which is people are you know as a matter of fact people want to have a story so bad they create stories they make up stories right every day on their instagram right or, oh i just got hit in the head and <laughs> Everybody pray for me, but this was interesting because as I started researching and looking at different things, I was like, yo, this is crazy, like how journalists are in the field doing different things and they're actually being affected. And uh, I said, why don't we put a spin on it to where this is, uh, you know, she's going to actually live her truth. Right. And so, again, the film's perfect, out on Blu-ray, but, but let's go further because you got another movie in the works, Intruder, with Dennis Quaid, but I, I'm more excited about Joseph Sikor, a.k.a. Tommy from Power. Can you describe what it's like being out there? <laughs> Tommy from Power. <laughs> Joseph is great. Yeah, so we have a new movie uh, getting ready to come out uh, later this year called The Intruder, be in theaters everywhere. Um, really excited about it. Dennis Quaid, Michael Ely, Megan Good. 
and Tommy from Power. <laughs> uh, but no, it's really, if, if you are a fan of Get Out, if you're a fan of Split, if you're a fan of uh, any of these movies where you have to cover your eyes the entire movie and try to figure out the twist, this is the movie for you. Well, you pretty much have that genre on lock now, I think. I'm trying, man. I'm trying, man. Especially, you know what? Especially now because, you know, independently, you know, I'm trying to be one of the first people in the space to be able to do these types of movies for a price and make them right. You know what I mean? And uh, I think we're starting to get pretty good at it. Um, now I'm just trying to make sure that we get them out to the people where they can see them all the time. And so real quick before you go, Sacramento, two hours from everywhere. Lake Tahoe or San Francisco? Oh, man, Lake Tahoe or San Francisco. It depends. It depends, man. Um, you got to tell me more. You got to say, what am I doing? You're just hanging. You're just looking for a good time two hours away. You just got to get up and go. I'm going to go to Tahoe. <laughs> I'm going to go to Tahoe because I, I like to relax more than I do the hustle and bustle. Okay. But I love going up to the Bay. I'm out there all the time. You know, just the restaurants, the, you know, the places out there. Of course, to watch the Warriors, right? Okay, okay. Can't here's you? another one. Golden One Center or Oracle? Ooh, Golden One Center. Golden One Center. <laughs> Traffic out on Blu-ray now. Go check that out, my man Deion Taylor. All right, man. Peace.